Welcome back to Rem TV, and here we are for this May 19th game. Uh, we're gonna have Jake the Ground against Dan Straley here. As you can see in the uh, in the standings, we are two and a half games back. So any game against the East, any game right now is very crucial. And we're almost at the halfway point of the season, so let's get this game started again. The Ground against Straley. So quick manage. Canal, nice, okay. So go by Rojas. So a home by but I'll take it. Up to one. Okay, fly out. Double by McNeil. Strike out to Alonzo. Run scored and then it's another RBI for Chano. I'll take it. Double by Castro. We run home over Broxton. Nice. Okay, one out. Let's do a. Just bunt him over. So we got Lowry on second. Ah. Double by Birdie. Two on home by Alvarez. So it's five to three. Single by Guerrero. Double play. And I got us out of it. Alonso gets on with an error. Oh no, they can now again! Five RBIs in the game! Single by Conforto. Ah. Oh boy. Two and on. Okay. There you go. Match win, 7-4. Um, Diaz with a save the ground with a win. That's his fifth win of the season. A little shaky, but I'll take it. Right, next game we're going to play is against the Nationals. Um, it's going to be Noah against Strasbourg in New York. So let's see what we can do here. Team's all tired though, so we got to make a little substitutions. Um, let's put in Frazier. Garis and Bruno Ramos. It's gonna be basically a pretty, pretty depleted team for the most part. Um, but we'll make what we'll do with what we got. So, let's see. Let's go around things that way, and then let's see what we got. Okay. So go back to now. Let's continue to stay hot. Okay, I think I want two, three innings for these two. Triple for McNeil. Cool. Two odds though. Yeah. Oh boy.
Nice, get out of that. Walk, uh, let's do hit run. For frequency. <laughs> There's like nothing going on. Okay. Damn it. Oh, come on, guys. There's like no offense in this game. Single, alright. Run. Gosh. Ah, oh, ran down with the solo shot. This is insane. <sighs> of course, Trey Turner. Trey Turner kills us a lot, man. Last chance. Come on, Conforto. Okay. Garis. All right. Let's go. Uh, down three runs, though. Oh, double play. Damn it. Losing three to one against Strasbourg and the Nationals. So that drops the guard to seven and two. Uh, Strasbourg is now three and four. We have games behind us here and look at the standings here we're um, back two games from the Phillies and the Nationals but because Nationals are probably won their head-to-head -head games uh, they are in first place right now and we gotta win this game that's upcoming so see you guys in City Field game with the last at bats gonna win this one pulled toward right center field Conforto is after what it the? and this is in the that? alley and ought to be good for Oh my races. gosh. This will kick out against he the went deep in the contest be. last night. Red drill. Fly ball out to straight away right. Moving <sighs> on to the corner. He's there to make the catch and here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. This can be a sacrifice. The sacrifice Nationals are up 1-0 early in the game. Fielder Yoannis Espedes is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Drilled to the left side. And that's right, so with the base hit. That's the Mets' first base runner of the game. And so it's pretty he's, he's playing pretty well in the right now. As we're slowly climbing up. And they come with all different type of weapons. Two and two. See one Goes here. And one guy that throws below I'm swinging feet. with a curveball. That is we have second strike out of the game. Grounded down the third baseline. Backhanded. Wow, what a throw. You're so lucky Ron was so slow. Stepping up now, Anthony Rendon picked up an RBI on a sack fly. We'll play ball maybe. Out of second. Out of first. That was a good pickup by Alonzo to start double play. That ends the inning. One hit in the inning, but no. The 2 2. Hard ground ball to third. A diving effort. He's knocked down. And he's going to be. Safe? I'll take it. Striding into the box. Gilman is Cespedes. One for one after a single this first time up. The 1-1. Oh, drives a bomb to deep center field. And it is out of here. That was a two-run shot by Yolanda Cespedes. And we can say his bat is getting hot. 11th of the year, going 452 feet. Arriving in Alonzo as well. So the Mets are up 2-1. Here in the third inning. He dug that out of here. I really didn't expect it to be a home run, but hey. I got it, and it's out of here. Well, there's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. Oof. How about this? Moon Good fastball shot. And ball is absolutely the two-one home. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. Oh, by Soto. Down, he's got himself a base hit. And drops the field. And the Nationals lead a, lead a double position. It's a lead for off the Nationals double. here in the fourth so inning. Ooh, got him with the curveball. That's a big strikeout for Wheeler. Good stop by Alonzo. That eliminates the runners of the corner's threat. 
And still two to one Mets. Even count. Two and two to the Two to one our score. This is hit the other way out towards the field. And he'll get there in play. Out number three to end the fifth inning. So far, we look so okay. You know, it was just that error by Comfort that just kind of gave up that run, but so far so good. Hit in the air to shallow center. Coming in on it is Eaton. He can't get there as it falls in. Well, that drops in for Wheeler. I was a little speechless that I actually dropped in. I thought the center fielder at least tried to catch that. Maybe a dive, but that advances Lagares to the second base. That is a uh, single for Zach Wheeler. So when you find yourself with a man on first, got to regroup. In now, Joanna Cespedes. Oh, I just missed it. I just missed it. Damn it. He gets there to make the catch. He's going to send the guards home. He's going to send to third, and he is going to be safe. That is a sacrifice for Cespedes. So it's 3 to 1, Mets. Here in the fifth. Why is it an E6, though? They came out of the gates and got hot right away. And two to random. Wow, that falls on a curveball. Excuse my language. I thought I hung that in for him to kill, but apparently not. Full count to Soto. I'm swinging the fastball. That's Wheeler's fifth strike out of the game. Takes this the other way to right. That's going to be maybe a double for... Oh, he doesn't get to it. Oh, gosh. He's so slow. And he's going to be... Safe at second. Wow. It's a good thing he uh, slid that way because he would have been dead to right. But opposite field, over the right field. But I thought he was going to be out because he's so freaking slow. <laughs> Bring that tag. Oh my gosh, really? Oh my gosh. Pinch hitter, Zimmerman, drills at the center field. Yeah, and you could see he just made a mistake. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. And that is out of here. Oh my gosh, Pete Alonso just crushes that ball. Officially over the fence. And that's a solo shot for the polar bear, Pete Alonso. That is number seven in the year and his rookie of the year. And tally just keeps going up, man. Kills the ball, seventh of the year. I think this is 24th RBI. Batting close to 300, or is batting 300 now? Oof! As soon as he made contact, you knew he was gone. They do love him. Oh, count to Eaton. Got him! With a fastball! Eaton can't believe it. That's a big strikeout. Four. Kimball the Mets, and let's take a look at the starting pitching here. Corbin giving up three earned runs. And... Eight hits while Wheeler just gave us four hits and a walk. With five strikeouts. So far, the winning pitcher for the Mets tonight. Two and two. Two out. Swain a miss and a knuckle curve. That gets Soto. That's the end of the eighth. All right, here comes Edwin Diaz. 1.42 ERA. Uh, I hit some, some hits to the lefty, so I gotta be careful with that. Going for eleven save. At the plate, Matt Adams, head to head against Edwin Diaz. He's just two for nine. He also Ooh, good stop. And McNeil throws it. And he's out. Good stop at McNeil. Standing in, Howie Kendrick. He represents the potential right, there you go. run if he can walk. The ball game. And the ball game's over. The Mets win four to two. Behind the bats of Yoan Assess for this. And Pete Alonso Peter with that home run. Wheeler with an amazingly pitched game that error by Conforto, as I said, was the only run that they really had in the home run by Zimmerman. That is the ball game. The Mets win. This is something that they need. Uh, so, player of the game, Zach Wheeler, six innings pitch, four hits, five strikeouts, one earned run. And, excuse me, Diaz with a save. Let's take a look at the hitting here. 
Pete Alonso, three for four with a home run, two runs. Cespedes, two for three, three RBIs and a home run. So I am satisfied with how this game turned out. Especially Wheeler's been a little shaky now to worry about Mats. Um, it was one in six. That really bothers me, but. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB The Show franchise with the Mets. If you like what you saw, click that thumbs up button, leave any comments below. Click that subscribe and notification bell if you haven't already. And I'm going to try to come out with videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it's going to be my new format. So you guys will know whenever I come out with a new video, um, I'll mention it every now and then in the videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy.